Well hello and welcome to my latest video. First of all, first of all, uh, I made a video yesterday and uh, if you haven't seen it you uh, you might want to watch it. It's a it's a comparison of cycle lights. Yes, it's called Let There Be Cycle Lights. A little bit of a... Is that a pun? Is that a pun? Would you call that a pun? No, maybe not. And somebody left a comment, a number of people make a comment, and I, I like reading the comments, and some people make really nice comments, and for those people who make really nice comments, I'm, I'm really appreciative. And for those people who make really mean comments, uh, I'm really appreciative of those as well. But somebody, somebody who shall be nameless, but Jimmy Bob, I know it was you, Jimmy Bob, said, what is the matter with your hair? And I thought, now, come on, right, you can, you can, Cast aspersions on my video, right? You can say what I say, or you can you can say what I talk about is rubbish. You can disagree with it. You can say that tubeless tyres are wonderful and you've ridden thousands of miles and you've never had a puncture and what's the matter with you. And you can say there is loads of gravel all over the world. What's the matter with you? Why are you so horrible to people who ride gravel bikes? You can say all of those things and I lap it up. I lap it up like my cat Fred. But Jimmy Bob. To make a personal comment about somebody's hair when, you know, I'm of a certain age, right? Do you have any idea how much it costs to get a decent wig? Do you, do you have any idea during lockdown? Do you have any idea how much it costs to get a decent wig? I was talking with my friend Frank Sinatra the other day, who, as you know, as you know, had the biggest collection of wigs the world has ever seen. He actually, now this is true, this is true. In Yonkers, which I believe is a suburb of New York, he had a warehouse, a 40,000 square foot warehouse full of wigs. He had a wig for every hour of every day. Now, if there are 24 hours in a day and there are seven days a week, then that's uh, seven times 20, that's 140, and seven, um, seven, four, four, seven to 28, so that's 140 plus 28, that's 100, he had 168, right, wigs for each week. And I've got two. And yesterday, I was wearing the other one. So if you're gonna make a comment, Jimmy Bob, I know it was you, you'll be getting something in the mail, don't you worry about that, Jimmy Bob. Uh, if you're gonna make a comment, don't, don't make it personal. Don't make it personal. I don't make personal comments about you and your silly name, do I? No, I don't. What are we talking about today? Well, somebody else left a comment on one of my videos uh, asking about saddles, saying they had a problem with their ass, And that made me think, right? We, and when I say we, I mean the English people amongst us, or British people, we say ass, A-R-S-E, ass. But those people in the US of A, you say ass, or ass. That's quite, that was quite similar, wasn't it? Or ass. You are an, you, you, you ass. Don't you? you? You people say ass. Now, I don't know what, I assume in Australia, people say ass. People in Canada, do they say ass because they're kind of British or do they say ass because they're kind of American? It's an interesting conundrum. Anyway, Badger's Biking Bollocks, and this is his real name, by the way, he changed it by deed poll uh, just so he could set up a YouTube channel called Badger's Biking Bollocks. And I urge you to check it out because it's quite good. Not as good as mine, but he's, he, does some, he does some nice stuff and he's well into his gravel riding, like me, and he's well into his mason. Uh, bicycle, like me as well. So there are similarities. Uh, the, the similarities probably end there because he's into camping and I'm not. Uh, he likes bikepacking and I don't. Um, but anyway, he left a comment saying he was having trouble, uh, talking about getting personal, he said he was having trouble with his ass and, or ass as you Americans could say, and would, or would say, and could I recommend or make any suggestions regarding saddles? Now, as it happens, as it happens, I can. Now, you'll recall that when I do an unboxing, I wear the cap, right? I wear the cap to cover my hair so Jimmy Bob can't see. I'm not wearing the cap, 
uh, because I'm not doing an actual unboxing, although I probably sort of ought to do an unboxing, it's just that I have done an unboxing of this particular item and I've just bought another one of the same or virtually a similar item and I couldn't see the point of doing another unboxing of something that already exists. What am I talking about? I'm talking about, says he, this. This is a Gilles, which is G-I-L-L-E-S, Bertou, which is B-E-R-T-H-O-U-D, a Gilles Bertou saddle. And this particular model is called the Galibier, after a famous hill in Wales. And it has titanium, yes, not unobtainium, but titanium rails. These are the rails that are here. And the reason why I've bought this and uh, uh, the reason I, I bought the previous one is because my other good friend, Henry Wildberry, and I urge you to check out his videos, particularly if you are a fan of the Grateful Dead and getting stoned. Not that I suggest, not that I would make any aspersions on, is that an aspersion to say that Henry Wildberry gets stoned a lot? Anyway, I, I don't know. He lives in California. And of course, everybody in California gets stoned all the time and they listen to the Grateful Dead all the time. He suggested some time ago or uh, indicated that he had one of these saddle, saddles. And as I was in the market for a saddle for various reasons, possibly my ass, I went out and bought one. And it is the best and most comfortable saddle I have ever ridden and it is on my Fairlight Seek and gravel bike but as you know I have a Mason cycle a bit like Badger's Biking Bollocks and that had a different saddle on it and the saddle that it had on it was this which I don't think I did an unboxing of. Uh, some of you people can have a look and, and remind me and this is by Brooks famous British English brand whatever you call it and this is a kind of rubbery um, uh, cottony uh, combination on here not like the sort of traditional books leather saddle and it was uh, it was highly recommended or it was highly advertised by I think David Miller not quite the same thing uh, so I bought this because I was in the market for a saddle and I just I just don't like it I just find it uncomfortable it's hard on your ass so the th thing about saddles, and you don't need me to tell you this, saddles are a very personal thing, right? One man's ass is another man's ass. There we are, how's that? To indicate that there are differences in asses, asses, and this goes for the ladies as well. I'm not just talking about gentlemen here. Different people uh, experience or uh, sit on saddles in different ways, and therefore a saddle that suits one person may not suit another person. So the fact that I don't get on with the books Cambium doesn't mean that you won't get on with the books Cambium. And I'm probably going to put it up on eBay, so if you want it, you can make a massive bid for it, and you might win it because it's one of the best saddles ever made. But it's not for me. So this I absolutely love. Why do I love it? Well, it's it's similar to a Brooks saddle, um, but I find it more comfortable. And I couldn't explain uh, the science uh, to you. I did I did email the Massachusetts Institute of Saddle Science and said, "Can you tell me what the actual science is to do with the ass on a saddle?" And they uh, sent me an email back and saying, I think you are misinformed. We don't do that kind of work, which I thought was a bit rude, actually. I, I thought they could at least, at least have offered, but they didn't. So I don't know what the science is that says this saddle is comfortable for my ass. And I have no intention of showing you my ass. I'm only going to show you the saddle. The saddle works for me. That's, that's the thing I can say about it. It does, because it's made of leather, and this is a rather nice uh, dark brown leather. I'll show you the other side there. Can you see that? These are the titanium, not unobtainium rails. These are the titanium rails here. That's supposed to make it lighter. Uh, the other model that I have on the uh, Fairlight Seacan, by the way, is the uh, Soulor model, and that has steel rails, so it's a bit heavier, but I wanted something a bit lighter. And I also wanted one in dark brown. I couldn't find the Soulor in dark brown. I'm sorry if this is rambling on a bit, but there you go. You shouldn't have tuned in. It serves you right. But I find that this uh it molds to the shape of your ass i'll stop saying ass i'll say bottom instead that's a much nicer word isn't it it molds to the shape of your uh bottom uh in a in a sort of quicker than a book saddle did i used to have a book saddle liked it but never really liked it you know how sometimes you kind of 
you like things because you feel you ought to like them. Are you ever in that in that position? It's like you feel you ought to like tubeless tyres because they're such a wonderful invention. But deep down, deep down, you know you don't. So like a Brooks saddle, uh, I, I felt and still feel in some respects, I had a little bit of guilt, twinges of guilt, still feel that I ought to like a Brooks saddle, but I don't really. But this saddle is absolutely wonderful. Now, I will be honest. I will be honest here. It's not cheap, right? This was £158. And you're going to say, £158, Julian, what, what sort of an investment are you making in your bottom? <laughs> you can make any kind of investment in your bottom that you want, Jimmy Bob. Um, but you, you, spend, you spend a lot of money on a bike, don't you? You spend a lot of money on a wheels, you spend a lot of money on handlebars, you've probably got carbon handlebars, you've got DI2 gears, I bet you've even got a Wahoo and a subscription to Strava and Zwift and all the other crap that we have to have if we're cyclists. So why not, as you're going to spend a lot of time sitting on your bottom on the saddle, why not spend a decent amount of money and get a nice comfortable saddle that's going to last. I've tried lots of saddles over my time. Uh, 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 sometimes I, I find one that I like and then I stick with it and then after a while, perhaps because the, my, my bottom changes over time, but I decide that actually it's not that comfortable after all. But at the moment, I will say that the Gilles Bertou uh, Salor, and this is the same saddle but just a, a slightly different construction, uh, is the best and most comfortable saddle I have ever owned. So. Badger, if you're out there and if you're watching it and if you've got this far, I suggest you. And if you, frankly, if you've got a Mosin Boca and a Mason Titanium and a, all the other stuff that you've got and, and a hammock and a tarp, that's, a, that's, a, that's what we bikepackers call uh, a tarpaulin, um, I think you can afford a saddle like this. So I would recommend it. Now, having done a video for uh, Badger's Biking Bollocks. It struck me that if any of you nice viewers out there would like me to make a personal, well, personal video, but by, by, but with a topic that might have some useful uh, universal interest. I'm, I'm not going to say, you know, happy birthday, Jimmy Bob. I hope you have a wonderful time. I'm not going to do that. But if, if you have an idea for a kind of personal video that could be of interest to others, but get you a name check, I'm happy to do it. Now, I'm not going to do it for nothing. As you know, my channel raises money for a food bank in Croydon, which is in the United Kingdom, and uh, providing uh, additional food for people who don't have very much money is a very good cause. So that's what I'm donating uh, the majority of the money from my channel to. So if you would be interested in me making that video for you in return, for a donation. Now I'm going to say £50. Now that might sound quite a lot to you, but I I, I don't think it's unreasonable. Uh, in return for a £50 donation to that food bank, then I would be happy to do it. I would give you the uh, Just Giving channel. You would have to give me your details. I would check the Just Giving that you had actually made the donation. Not that I don't trust you. Um, incidentally, if if that particular proposal is illegal under YouTube regulations, or if it's illegal in the state of Louisiana, which I imagine quite a lot of things are illegal in the state of Louisiana, then uh, please advise me in the comments. But if it is acceptable and allowable for me to make that offer, then I am making that offer now. So that's the end of this video. Hope, why have I, why have I said that? I never, say, I never say that. What I say is, thanks for watching. See you next time.